Rebound in the lane to Talik Brown. Huskies leading at 6 0. Brown stutter step with the dribble. Off the floor in the early going. Brown to the cutter, Butler. Side and look at the defense by Butler. Finds Brown two on one. Oh! Three, no good rebound, Brown. Vanderbilt also gets Western Kentucky. What happened there? Nobody home. White. And Okafer, Okafer impressive, Bob. And Butler runs the floor and is rewarded. Nothing to start the first half. Here's Talik Brown, three on three. Hesitation, dribble drive, counted at the foul. He is good at that. Here we go with 55, his first tonight. Brown drives, feeds inside. Position for the Huskies here in the first six minutes. Of the well, second and, half. You, and you mentioned, Bob, no one on the offensive boards. That's by design. Don't give up anything. Second foul on Hundley, six on Vanderbilt this half. Butler for three. Gordon gives to Brown. Left side, Robertson for three. Got it. Plavik misses the shot, and Okafor with his 12th rebound. UConn up 16, and Commodores are going to come up a little empty. Three on two. Gordon with the reverse layoff off assist number 11 for Brown. Shot blocked by Okafor. Here come the Huskies. And it's Butler to slam it down. Ganley, here comes to Lake Brown. And it's Butler on the right wing. Banks it home. Low ball lost. A lot of traffic and stolen by Talik Brown. Running hard. Brown lays it up. Count the bucket. He'll get a free throw. A nice grab down low by Chris Brown. And he's got four. But back comes Connecticut. Needs some space to get their shots off. And a steal by Talik Brown. UConn three on one. Whoa! Behind the back. Karan Long up to behind the back, like right there, and then, oh, he stays with it. Oh, oh, the Butler, forget it. Ganley just trying to force things now, and just trying to make something happen. Check him out, behind the back. Oh, drives the defense. See ya. That's as good as it gets. And there's Ben Gordon on the rebound, and the UConn guards do a nice job of helping out their front court mates. Oh. Tony Brown! Off balance, banks it in, and he'll get an extra shot. And they have not stopped from there. And now, it's not happening from the outside at all. Roland Williams and uh, Talik Brown will wrap it up for the deuce. You've got to play up tempo. That's our game. If it doesn't work, so be it. That was a walk. Rule. <laughs> or you must pass six times before you shoot. Brown off the glass and good. Way short from three. Selvi fast breaking for Talik Brown. Nice give and go. Some won't fall for him. Talik Brown, former McDonald's High School All-America to Johnny Selvi with authority. First half, 21-18 Merrill. Again, they volleyball it around, and Talik Brown has the breakaway. Maryland's still in that zone, and Connecticut looks right now like they've ever seen a zone. Gordon, four of nine yesterday from three. Bangs one in there. Rebound to Leak Brown, three on three, UConn break. Robertson for three, and he's already at two. To Leak Brown, right side, Robertson catch and shoot, his fourth three of the night. Rejected, gets it back. To Leak Brown, left side, three. Field at one for six. UMass fourth in the Atlantic 10 here in the early season. Talik Brown worked a lot on that jump shot. You gotta be crisp, you gotta make sound cuts, and you gotta make the 15, 18 foot. Robinson with the same go for three. Boy, that, that makes Coach is giddy, right? Oh boy, he got much of that. It's very good. <laughs> Brown got the catch off the double tip. That's four blocks for Oka for tonight. In a hurry, Robertson off the glass. Got it. Good ball. Boot. His shot chart looks pretty good in terms of location, but he hasn't had results. And look at Robertson on the break. Man, he's got a layup. He goes to the jump left hook. To Lake Brown. Contact. Line drives it home. Just to going up. Brown takes it. Takes over. Wins the battle. And he's got help. Rod 
power move. He'll be on the floor for Connecticut right now. How about Tony Robinson? Five for five first half. He's 0 for two second half. Brown in a hurry. Inside. Power score there. Comfortable. There's plenty of areas to roam and dominate. Great pick there. Rutherford oh, the was able to get through Reimer to Robertson. Shot pocket 10, 259 on the game clock. Robertson fires. for three. Team, uh, fast break points at the half, just two here in the second half. Brown got it. I'm going to call high pick and roll, and they went over the top, didn't slide it. And low. All along was Mims cross court stolen away by Brown. Looks ahead, finds Hazleton, who runs the floor. Back to the 1-2-2 zone, yep. excuse me. Gordon penetrates, kicks out to Talib Brown, and Brown buries the three. Not his specialty. Point number 1,000, and UConn has really struggled at the offensive end. Okafor, catch and shoot. Yeah, nice. Underneath is Brown for the rebound. Brown goes by Monroe. Brown finds Okafor down low. That's a nice look by Talik Brown. No George, uh, no Syracuse on the schedule for Connecticut this season. Oh, oh, oh wow. Brown. The bench with four fouls, stuck on seven rebounds. Talik Brown for three. Now foot was on the line, it's a two. They know the players, they get to know him. Two to one. Brown goes all the way and lays it home. They just kept falling back and Talik made him pay. Selby gets it back outside. Brown with some penetration. Hits in Arizona in the tournament out there. Gordon's three rattles out. Brown puts it back. Many stoppages. Gordon gets inside, goes back to Brown, fights his way against Green and lays it in. Short with a three is Prado. It's tipped into the hands of Brown. Here's Butler. He simply goes up and lays in every game. So one of the things that the uh, UConn coaches noticed on the film is that he, as Brown gets the bat, he plays rebound Brown. He races back, leans in, and off the glass and good. So Huskies may have gotten away with a walk. Inside, Robertson to the hole for two. <sighs> Facing the pressure, in some trouble now, losing his dribble, and he gives it up. Tully Brown to the hole, he puts it up and in. Yeah, credit that bucket. You don't get an assist if you're Ben Gordon, but all that ball Absolutely. pressure and... Reversal to Butler. Gordon open for three. Uh, so tough. The screen guy, and he just rolled to the rim. It's Brandon to the hole, gets it knocked away. Connecticut has it, quickly pushing it. Robertson, and gives it up to Brown, and Connecticut converts. Yeah, every day. Short. Strong rebound that time by Tools. And flying down is Brown and gets the basket. A little bit of Husky basketball coming right at you. Wise with it for the first time. So Jim Calhoun already has gone very deep into that bench. Philippe Brown with a runner. Gordon, the freshman, has come on to replace Wise. Here's Hazleton. And that is a two. The rebound brought over there by Hayes. Good bounce pass. And Gordon lays it in. What a beautiful job to keep. It's about an eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Brown. Leans in, bending good. Got the roll that time. The other way. Here's Butler. Wow. Into the lane. Missed the shot. But there's Brown with a follow. It won't go. Somebody there. They are going to count it. Somebody got a hand in there. It's offensive rebounding opportunities. It did in that case, and it led to two points. Here's Brown spinning at the foul line, pushes it up and in. He's been so much in a game like this. Brown gets inside, no place to go. Three-pointer, Robertson at the buzzer. A bunch of times. Brown kicks it off. Robertson's three on the way. Oh, he buried it. Got some skills they brought to the table themselves. Oklahoma now playing a zone on the inbound. Nice shake by Talik Brown. Got into the defense. Oakland four for a layup. He hasn't gotten any transition buckets. They've been forced to play half court. Nine on the shot clock. They got it to Oklahoma four. No. Ironic how Jim Beheim gave him all that confidence. Syracuse is not on Connecticut's schedule. Thank you. <laughs> Good split by Blake Brown. Beats Robertson for three. Got it. Oklahoma D hasn't presented too many opportunities. Sure enough. Butler steps out. Drills the three. 22 on the shot clock. Nice to have that eraser. You make a mistake in the pressure. Got a man back there to erase it. Selby lost it. Brown gave it back. Robertson scores on the layup. 
comes Connecticut. Down four, under two. In a hurry. Brown in the lane. Robertson gets a look. That's the three. It's going. Virginia Tech will shift in the defense. Hayes sets the screen and a solid one for Talik Brown who penetrates and gets the ball down low. The lineup for the Huskies along with Justin Brown. 14 on the shot clock. Gordon for three. Catch for Retina. Now that could be a very serious injury. A lot of times boxers get that injury. Oh, nice back door and finished by Brown. By the little Althea playing with a lot of enthusiasm, some big dunks. He's been very helpful to help Tech get back in it. But what a drive goes to coast by Brown. Passive tonight by Virginia Tech. They need to pick up the intensity. Robertson left wing three. And there's your five-point possession. He's in that category. So Chase with ten points and double figures for the eighth time this year. Talik Brown. Behind the back, left side, Ben Gordon. 43%, and you're seeing why in this game. And the second best career three-point percentage in Big East history. Talik Brown with the runner down the lane. Brown both did. Butler first got the hand on And Brown eventually. Butler feeds Talik Brown in the break. Eight years as an assistant at Wake Forest. Okafor down low to Talik Brown. By Talik Brown, his third of the night. Quickly, forecourt sets up Gordon. Left side, three. Beautiful shot. He's not really getting to that offensive board. They're so confident it's going in. Showtime. And they throw away a beautiful dish by Karan Butler. Feeding off to Talik Brown. So again, Huskies coming with the ball on the run. Talik Brown gets the lead pass. What a great pass. And he's really room to operate with the ball. He's very good with the ball, Karan Butler. As is Talik Brown who pulls up. And sends in a soft arcing shot, and at the horn. But coming early, of course, they shoot on the seventh. Gordon fires. And in a man for man, with Derek Snowden on the floor with four fouls. Look, prevented him from getting it. Okafor rebounding, bounce outlet to Gordon, lead pass down low, and to Lee Brown gets it down, and he'll head to the free throw line. It's the temple for how well they do. When he's on his game, Connecticut usually wins. He's on his game. Kelly Brown with three and a half to go. Rebound Okafor and doubt that's shaken up on the play. And he's trailing everybody. And Selby. Close or you have the lead. A few more transition baskets are going to have to go back to man to man. That opens up the tempo. Kelly Brown Butler. Remember, we said it's 6 7. He doesn't mind handling the ball to the break. Looked pretty good that time, didn't he? Roll reversal. Kelly Brown doing an excellent job. We could make that drive if we hurry. We sure could. You know, pretty full day of uh, sports, <laughs> huh, today? Oh, left wide open to Leak Brown. Success in bringing it down the floor and not making some mistakes. Lang with eight points. You generally have pretty good opportunity because the floor is spaced against the Husky. Brown from long range brings it. I was rattling out my kindergarten class. <laughs> Selby again with the finish. Melendez. Brown. Butler. Baseline. <laughs> 27, 1990. The Huskies won that one. Were you there? Yes, I was. Season, you know, they lost to Manhattan, which was kind of an embarrassing loss to them, even though Manhattan a good team. They have improved a great deal since then. Rebound off the missed free throw by Johnny Selby. His fourth of the night. Malik Brown with the runner in the lane. It's time to go. If he's going one-on-one, -on -one, he goes at seven. Guarded by Glover. Robertson is a terrific free throw shooter. Down low to Malik Brown. Oh, four. Conference and assists. Six a game for a four. Robertson left alone, and he drills the three. The left-hander from Portland. Oh, great steal. Stripped away by Talik Brown. He has Walton to beat, and does. Have not been close to hitting. As I said before, Jason Gardner is a streak shooter. And Robertson, or it's Gordon outside. No, Talik Brown who drills the three. Got two coaches, Dick, as you said, have won over 600 games. And it is a pleasure to watch guys that really know how to coach this game. And it's Ben Gordon, Connecticut by one. Well, Fry is really putting up some big numbers coming on so strong for this Arizona team. Talik Brown with a drive and a touch shot and a foul. And that was Jason Gardner on the reach, not to touch that ball that was up on the rim. Ooh, back shot, but he makes it anyway. Talik Brown, who made that three-pointer to start this thing. This game is getting personal. I think they remember last year's ball game. Gardner, who 
Had trouble scoring in the first half. Has 19 now to lead all scorers. Defense by Arizona. They're on their feet here in the Wildcat country. Seven on the shot clock. Brown gets the kind bounce. It's 80 to 79. Here far is. Fry now with 15. Okafor with a good pick. Brown with a drive. It's a leak Brown and Jason Gardner. Stripped away by Karan Butler. Three on two. What a pass. Beautiful. Nice job on Connecticut. Hit by Robertson and controlled by Butler. He traveled with no whistle to Lee Brown at the other end. And you oh, out. Might have had two travels on the play, but maybe Jim Calhoun is getting some makeups here. For about a five-second call here. Just does beat the clout. Pass in low to Johnny Selby, who scores. And it's cute later. I thought that was going to be Rector's ball to Lee Brown. Brown. Brown Butler, quick turnaround. He's got it. Brown Butler to Lee Brown. Wigan, though, from behind. To Lee. Oh, what a save. Johnny Selby, thank you very much. Going the other way with the Scarlet Knights picking up the tempo and spots. Biggest lead of the night. Biggest lead for Rutgers. Tariq Brown got a layup. They beat the press. Johns. He had 63 coming into this game here. He's popped that up to 70. Oh, good power move by yeah. Karan Butler. Irving, oh man, eating alive by Selvin. Get it out of here. Numbers, good pass. Tariq Brown got it. The run at Tulane, and it was actually uh, Leonard Hamilton's choice to succeed him here. Back and forth, the goal goes to Butler, and a driving... That's one thing these big guards do. Marcus uh, Barnes will also do it when he's in there. Try to post up the smaller guards down low. And there is uh, Tully Brown. And then, of course, you have Brock Berlin, who was the high school quarterback of the year. He's transferred down. Of course, he won't be able to play this year. Smart teams go to the hot hand. Tully Brown fires long distance and strikes it down as Simmons came over. Lee Brown to Selby, a reverse. Seen 14 lead changes. Don Cricky with Bucky Waters at the Miami Arena on a hot, humid night in South Florida. And Johnny Selby launches long distance. Butler. Karan Butler has the ball. That is the call, and Karan Butler knocks it down. It's a three. Big game in the Big East, just like we like it. Down to the horn. Here's Talik Brown breaking through. He lays it in, and the game is tied at 66 all. Having a terrific year. <laughs> Jumper from the corner. And has come into the game. I believe it is Johnny Selby's place that he took as Talik Brown hits a floater. Getting good shot. Pretty. More Different position. Talik Brown with the layup. Turnover and a run out. Nice catch by Talik Brown. The race is on, and the finish is there. Wow. He's not returned for the start of the second half. And let's hope he's well. Yeah. And that's the big concern. Talik Brown inside. Wild them. The new building coming up. Things are exciting in the Steel City. They break the press, and a strong finish from Butler. Again, a good job breaking the pressure. Two on one. Selby from Brown. Slip free. No, Okafor in that game against Arizona. 19 points, 15 rebounds, 9 blocks. There's Selby again. Bubble teams, which league is going to get the bids? You know, Rutgers has a lot of quality wins, yeah. too, now. I mean, against teams that were ranked, so they didn't keep it up. And those seasons, again, looking to recognize the defense. Got people in the right spot and made it happen like that. And Selby with a great hesitation under the basket. Dave Leto up on his feet over on the UConn bench. Strong drive from Talik Brown. Talik Brown speeding up the court. No call on that one. This ball fake from Talik Brown, and the floater goes. Selby, good screen. Brown gets inside. Strong to the hoop. It's a three-point game. And you can tell momentum has changed. A three-possession game. And Brown hits and is fouled. Do you believe it? You could recognize this 1 3 1 was able to drive against it. So Luke Brown drives against it again, just as you said. Nice double screen gets the look. First three of the night. There you go. Well lined for his college shoes. And ended up living with uh, Lou Rusky. Did you see that? Yeah. The family are very nice as they acclimated him as Talik is acclimated right now. Buchanan up. They need him on the floor. Different team without him. 
Here is Butler. How about that? Oh, he saved it, unfortunately, right to the Huskies. Still 17 on the clock. Hazelton takes advantage. And that's what Brown has to do. Feed them. And nope. you, you're right, because Bell gets all the credit for the three-point shooting, but Walls takes almost as many threes as Bell. The only uh, about four or five is the different. Made their move and come back with Butler doing most of the damage. And now, a struggle for UConn. Terrific play by Talib Brown. Well, I guess two or three years. Right now, they go to Robertson, who fires and he hits the feet. Rebound to Okafer. They've got numbers if they hurry. They did. Robertson in the air in terms of how the Huskies are going to do for the NCAA tournament committee. Good help defense right here. But finally, Brown gets to go, but gets to get one down. This denial defense, the shutdown defense of Boston College has been tough to penetrate, but not then. The Huskies, Bob, need looks in the three-point arc, but they're none to be found. They're not a good three-point shooting team, but they're doing a good job of taking it strong inside. If Bell comes to you, double-team him, just like that. Taken away. A one-man race, and Talik Brown will win it as he calmly lays it in. It is. He has to take the lead. If they hit the three, they could take, they could go up. Here's a tying shot by Talik Brown taking to the basket. Well, I told you that triple. Ryan Sidney going all the way down. He's rejected. Rebound knocked around. It'll be a hell. No, it will not be. Okafor picks it up. No timeouts. Robertson's open. Talik Brown dishes off. Down low, and the Huskies put it up and down with nine seconds left and take the lead. An unbelievable comeback. It did toughen up that non-conference schedule this year, Len. Virginia, Georgia, UCLA, but they lost all those games, so they need a couple of big wins. Absolutely. You've got to win some of them. You know, some of them could be considered good losses. Presented by AT&T Long Distance. Dan Shulman, Len Elmore with you here at Washington for Ron Butler for three. You can't settle just for the jump shot. you got to start going inside out. You don't expect Justin Brown or Hazel on the score for you, but certainly they can handle it. How did that ball go in? So Lee Brown just threw it at the rim and it climbed right up and over. Remarkable for a freshman who blocks shots like he does. The guy Jim Calhoun thinks warrants consideration not only for rookie of the year, playing under control. Now Talik Brown trying to pull his way into the paint and he gets it to go down. Boy, when the Hoyas can shoot it from outside, they become a dangerous team. Gordon answers for UConn for tournament purposes the Hoyas really only 14 and 9 because one of their wins was over Division 2 Merriman had made field goals they're shooting the ball well when they get a chance to shoot it like there Ben Gordon for three Two overtime already this year including Georgetown and Notre Dame who went four overtimes in their game an Irish win oh, so Lee Brown again man is he strong three. Well, that was a concern of this Connecticut staff this is a West Virginia team that can play loose very little on the line for them Lee Brown right to the defense Robertson three ball this is the thing that the West Virginia coaching staff was worried about the first adversity and right now West Virginia getting eaten alive too bad he didn't have a leash air ball rebounded running here's Connecticut look out oh my standing Okafor has up top to Gordon and Gordon from three point range that team back to life here at Connecticut Huskies down five early did a nice comeback to Lee Brown. Contact. Which way is it going to go? They're going to get a block on Chris Moss. Back in here by West Virginia. Kick it to Robertson. Tony can't oh. get it. Nice put back by Talik Brown. 23 ticks. You have time for your shot clock. Talik Brown, heck of a oh, oh, What a big time basket. That ball was out of bounds. He made the recovery and still scored. And another shooter, so Robertson gets in. Good denial by Okafor leads to this. Karan Butler with the left hand. Scary turnover. They lead the break. Trailer. Okafor. Yes, indeed. In one occasion. Briggs got up to the good start. He's harassed. Talik takes it away from him. Four on three. Robinson goes to the glass. Rack it up. But comes away again. Good luck. They pass the ball beautifully. Oh. Back to Tony Robinson. It's a clinic. It's an absolute clinic by Connecticut. It's 56 37. Okafor's had nine blocks in a game on three occasions. Here's a nice pass there to Talik Brown. There's nobody home that back line. As he's going by, 
He put it up. Look, oh, look out! <laughs> There's an answer to that one. Wow. 30. Okafor. There's a nice touch. Uh -huh. Second tier team. That you could still get a national championship team out of that one. Okafor on the left. Good body control by the big. Moss has got it. Moss has not had a lot of touches in the second half. And once again, another run out. Husky. Uh, Tariq Brown, 12 assists now for Tariq Brown, folks. That Brown off. Good backdoor cut though, and a nice dish from Hoka for it. Tariq Brown. The dish to Oka for this time from Brown. So and this is one of those games again where, you know, they've held the lead pretty much, but it remains to be seen whether they... And that's what Andre Barrett just did. And as much as anything that's needed come tournament time. Oka for the rebound. Here comes Brown down low. He does that time after time. Marcus Toniel all over Karan Butler trying to keep him from getting the ball. No offensive foul. The spin move by Brown. Gannon injured his Achilles in that game. Gary's missed all three triples he's tried. But he's 0 for 4 from the field. He time to leak Brown. Takes it, makes it, and puts UConn up by one. I'm watching him. I know they expected those blocks, but still got to give him help. There we go. It's Brown. Got it. Back out here tonight. The Garden will fill up for the Johnnies. As always, after the Villanova turnover, Butler gets it to go with a foul. He's very comfortable, but when he's got to create like that, he has difficulty. That's the creator right there. Shaking and making. Uh, more scoring, a little bit less turnovers. Off the screen, the freshman Gordon gets it a three-point game. Calhoun orchestrating from the side. It's eight to shoot. Brown looking. Got in trouble. Finds Gordon. Here's a three. Hey, look at the ball movement. Look at the two guys at the top of the zone. It's time going on the defensive end. Certainly doesn't lack the effort on the offense. Gordon three. Brown. Glenn feels it to the ground. Very good. Now they go to a zone, 2-3 zone. Nice change on the fly. Justin Brown, oh, come free. Trying to play a little matchup zone, playing the guy in your area man-to-man, -man, but otherwise zone principle. Tariq Brown got there and we advanced forward. A big hoop here could be a crusher. Selby, a big hoop here. He's too good to be kept down this long. We switch on the screen. Graves has Brown. That's a green light for Tariq. Oh, Tariq. Show them something you haven't shown them all day. That's that right? I don't think they did. Turnover anyway. Robertson ready to fly high. Here he goes. Interesting dilemma for Ben Howland in Pittsburgh. They're excellent at guarding the perimeter, but UConn doesn't take many. Most every day during the season, not as much X's and O's, but more how to handle things that happen in games. That is a blocking foul. The basket's good. Boy, do they have. Well, and they've handled the transition well from the hunter to the hunted. You know, you have to have a special feeling for Robertson on the glass, little UConn push. Butler on the wing. Tries to close himself. A game of instincts. You gotta have point guard instincts to create when a defense took something from you. And they all know Jim Calhoun just yelled, shot clock at two. Talik Brown has to force one from deep. Oh! Take a look. Look at where he is. Shot clock running down. Five, eight feet beyond the pro line. That's a 30, 35 foot. Straight on line. That helped him. It's like shooting a very, very long free throw. First round East Regional matchup. UConn in the white jerseys against Hampton. UConn pushing it to Lee Brown. Finishes the fast break. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Brown better make a move right here. He's taking too much time. He played that right down with two seconds left on the clock. Of the year in Big East Tournament. Player of the year stolen away. Delete Brown. The two more. The tie at 17. Robertson dribbling in trouble. Oh, how about that? it inside to 
to Leek Brown for the two. That's up more assist. Brown to Butler and one. Chance for the three point play matched at the other end. Showing Okafor he's not afraid to take it right to him. Selby with Deerman on his back. Selby very physical. Nice double down by Williams. Skips it out to Leek Brown with the three pointer for UConn. But Roberts really doing a great job you, moving his feet instead of trying to hold him off with his hands. There he is, Karan Butler and Okafor. Strong rebound. Numbers here for the Huskies. Robertson right side, banks it home. Ten to the rim. Now one for 11 from three. Up ahead to Leek Brown. The trailer is Okafor. Kent had prior to coming to college with the 48 points he made in the St. Louis High School All-Star Games against Crawford. I like it that far away. Kicks it back out. Brown with five on the shot clock. Three-pointer, UConn. Butler, three on two, UConn. To Leek Brown comes in. Oh, boy! And that is goaltending. School player, but here's the play, Jim. See how he'll do off the dribble against Nichols. Five on the shot clock. Step back three. Brown! Oh, oh, oh. There's the one, two, two zone again. Brown gets in the paint, kicks it back out. Gordon, good shooter. Three-pointer, swish. This guy has been an efficient player since day one for the Maryland Terrapins. Led him in field goal percentage three straight years, rebounds three straight years, leading him tonight. Butler with another three. Boy, that was some telling graphic there with Baxter and Okafor. Brown having an outside game here today. He really is, as we said. Sipping of passes. Blocked away. And here come the Huskies with a four on two. Brown, Butler, double punt. Five minutes remaining in a thriller for the final berth at the final four. The one and two seeds in the East battling it out. To Leek Brown for the drive and the three-point lead.